Tonight, it's another racially charged incident making the rounds on social media. This time, a Livonia woman is accused of blocking another shopper from leaving the Kroger parking lot. 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom tells us about the charges she was hit with today. Pictured here is 46-year-old Paula Guerin of Livonia. And also pictured here in her new Monday mugshot. Both instances stem from this. I'm out here trying to do my job, me and my kids. Do you see this lady standing here behind my car, refusing to leave? It is the video that has gone viral. Another incident caught on camera. Those involved, one black, the other white. This being coined the Kroger Karen. The name now used nationwide, describing white women who call police on black people unnecessarily. When they don't get their way, some call it another example of racism. This is crazy. I have never, ever experienced nothing like this. This is something new. Shanika Montgomery Strickland, a Metro Detroit mother, recording Paula on Facebook Live in the middle of June to share what she calls a disturbing and unbelievable situation. Shanika says Paula disrespected her and her children while shopping inside the 8 Mile and Farmington grocery store after one of her kids reached for a beverage on the shelf. This is just straight racist. That's what this is. Something is wrong with her. She's still standing behind my vehicle. We're in the parking lot. I haven't said anything. I asked her not to say anything in the store to my children. She was being rude. But once they reached the parking lot, according to what you see here, Paula placed herself with her baby inside the stroller behind Shanika's car, keeping her family from leaving. This went on for quite some time. There were witnesses and both moms called police. Officer, let me speak first. Today, Paula was arraigned in a 16th district court and charged with disturbing the peace. Paula received a $500 personal bond. What is the next step in all of this? It is Paula's pretrial. That is set for the beginning of August. We will see what happens then. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.